In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to take one more prayer from the book of Matthew chapter 11 from verse 1. Matthew, I will pick some verses in Matthew chapter 11. From verse 1, it says, And it came to pass, when Jesus has made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now, when John had heard in the prison the words of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which you do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Verse 6 again, he says, Blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Now, jump to verse 12. Or from verse 11, let's start from verse 11. He says, Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there, are, there had not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Now, I want to dwell a little more on this. Verse 12, it says, The kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. I want to submit to you that the violence that the kingdom of heaven suffers is the violence against the spirit of offense. It is the violence against the spirit of, of offense because the spirit of offense, offense is the greatest thing that will resist your love and your place in the kingdom of heaven. Now, if you look at where we started, from verse, chapter 11 from verse 2, John the Baptist is now in prison and he's offended with Jesus. Now, if you look at it, John the Baptist really helped Jesus. Because when Jesus came, people did not accept him. They said, is he not a carpenter's son? We don't even know how, how uh, he was born. We don't know his history. And so there were a lot of things against the life of Jesus. But John the Baptist was already ministering, and he was accepted as a prophet and a man of God. So when John the Baptist came and lended his voice to Jesus and said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the whole world. So Jesus stood on that proclamation. When God opened the heaven and spoke, this is my son. So that was how Jesus was launched into his ministry. And so John was really a great man. If you, now, again, the scripture says, from the, all the prophets before John, they were prophesying. They were prophesying a Messiah will be born. Isaiah prophesied, Elijah prophesied, all the prophets, they were prophesying a Messiah is coming. But John the Baptist did not prophesy. He said, look at the Messiah. Here he is. But now, John is in prison. And Jesus did not go to visit him. Jesus did not send his disciples to go and visit him. There was not even a record that Jesus prayed for him in prison. So by all rights, John 